We begin tonight with an update on a story that's both gut wrenching and disturbing. Tonight, Carl Jordan is in jail after a deadly rampage. Jordan is accused of robbing a Henry County Waffle House and shooting a woman before stealing her car, all before police say he killed his ex-girlfriend, shot her four-year-old son and her mother. Tonight in a CBS 46 exclusive, we're hearing from that mother as she not only grieves, but recovers tonight. CBS 46's Yasmina Alston has this story. Yasmina, really no words can describe what this family is going through right now. Brittany, that's right. There's obviously still a lot of healing for the family of 19 year old Cheyenne Harvey, who was shot and killed by a man that she was briefly dating. Now that same man also shot her four year old son and her mom at their Clayton County home. She was the most happy, loud, <laughs> in your face, annoying, aggravating <laughs> love of my life. Through tears, Stacy Ahmed remembers her 19 year old daughter, Cheyenne Harvey. Four days ago, my life was perfect. Four days ago, my life was amazing. It was Wednesday night when 26 year old Carl Jordan went to Harvey's Clayton County home to see her. Ahmed tells me her daughter and Jordan were in a brief relationship, but had broken up. He went in my kitchen and ate two pieces of pepperoni pizza before he put a gun to the side of my daughter's head. Harvey's four year old son and Ahmed were also in the house. He stayed looking me in the eyes and he lowered the gun and he shot my grandbaby right there in front of me looking at me. Ahmed says she grabbed her grandson and ran before also being shot. Jordan then left the house. He's also accused of shooting a woman at a Waffle House in Henry County the next morning. Ahmed says she never noticed any red flags from Jordan, but also didn't know he was bothering her daughter after their breakup. He obviously showed up at my house with full intentions of killing us and I just want to know why. Harvey's four year old son is physically doing well, but still has a long road to recovery. He's um, he's he's going to be seeing a counselor because his mother was shot in front of him. The family did set up a GoFundMe page to help with funeral expenses, and Ahmed says she's also very thankful for the Clayton County police officer who responded to the scene and who was with her daughter after she was shot. Reporting live tonight, Yasmina Alston, CBS 46 News. Yasmina, thank you, and certainly our prayers are with that family tonight.